The International Tennis Hall of Fame welcomes two new inductees to the 2020 class, Conchita Martinez and Goran Ivanisevic. Conchita Martinez became the first Spanish woman to win Wimbledon in 1994. It was a good final. I had to return really well with my backhand and make a lot of passing shots. So I was playing well and I was thinking, you know, um, let's just try and have fun. I was, I was okay. I was okay that day. With her well-rounded game, Conchita reached the semifinals or better at every major, including final appearances at the Australian Open in 1998 and Roland Garros in 2000. In Fed Cup competition, Conchita would help lead Spain to five titles. During her 18-year professional career, she amassed 33 singles titles and 13 doubles titles. Croatian Goran Ivanisevic was known for his expressive personality and powerful lefty serve that left returners flat-footed. His serve and volley game often made him a favorite at Wimbledon. I think Goran was probably the best server I've ever seen. He would like ace you on the second serve on the break points when you've been waiting for that point for like 25 minutes. You wouldn't even have a chance to touch it. My game was good for grass and I know that people didn't like me to play with me. They fear my serve, they never knew what was going to happen. After three finals losses at Wimbledon, it would be his fourth final appearance that would be the most surprising. In 2001, Goran was 125 in the world and needed a wild card just to enter the championships. However, his game became inspired and he reached the finals to go against heavy favorite Patrick Rafter. Because of rain delays, the final was moved to a Monday, which opened up more tickets to the general public. The drama of the match delivered and Goran survived in five thrilling sets to win his elusive first major. Goran would retire from competition in 2004 with 22 singles titles, nine doubles titles, and two Olympic bronze medals. It's a great honor to be a, a part of the Hall of Fame, to have your name among these amazing other champions and friends. This is the like end of the my tennis road my tennis trip and I was really proud of myself to think what, what did I achieve I got into the Hall of Fame Conchita Martinez, Goran Ivanisevic both had career defining moments at the L England Club reached world number two the 94 champ Martinez three time Olympic medalist 33 WTA titles Ivanisevic won 22 titles had that magical run in 2001 back with Lindsay and Prakash and uh, Lindsay you said back in the mid 90s that uh, Conchita Martinez was arguably your toughest opponent what made her such a difficult matchup. You know, Conchita was one of those few players that had so much variety, and she had this big forehand, she could hit it with a lot of spin, and then she had this backhand where she had this underrated slice. She could dink it around the court, she can get it deep, and then she also had a beautiful drive and moved around the court so well, really understood the angles. And, you know, it was an interesting career for Conchita because she was in the shadows of Arancha for so many years. And then all of a sudden really broke through, really started to believe in herself at Wimbledon of all surfaces. I mean, grass was not the surface she liked to play on. And yet her dreams came true those two weeks at Wimbledon uh, when she was able to beat Martina in that final. Everything kind of came together, but she was a very shy champion and didn't like a lot of attention. And so it took her a little bit of time to get used to being so great. And she ended up playing in three Grand Slam finals, just won the one Wimbledon. But she was a threat on all surfaces. And she also, off the court, was honestly one of the nicest opponents I ever played against. She was always very humble. Um, she tried very hard. But afterwards, everything stayed on the court with Conchita. And I always loved that about her. Lindsay, to add to that Wimbledon that she won against Martina, we also have to give a lot of credit to the fact that grass isn't what it is today. It was grease yeah. lightning back then, and yeah. Conchita obviously a lot more familiar with the clay court surface, having grown up in Spain. She had tremendous success at the Italian Open and much more comfortable in general. So to be able to adjust her game to such a fast grass court service and then play Martina going for her 10th title and still come out victory, that's, that's one of the more special upsets, I think, in, uh, in the Wimbledon finals.
It was indeed, and Conchita Martinez, the sixth Spaniard to be inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Goran Ivanisevic Prakash is the first Croatian, so pretty special for that entire nation. What stands out most to you, Prakash, about Goran's career? Well, the minute you mentioned Goran's name, I just, I start smiling. I mean, for a guy who broke more rackets than I could possibly count, he did it with a great deal of charm. You couldn't help but cheer for him, and I think his whole journey at Wimbledon really turned into a fairy tale. He lost those brutal finals, five sets to Agassi in 92, three sets to Sampras in 94, five sets again to Sampras in 98, and you know, he really thought he was down and out. And for him to come back, win that spectacular semi against him, and uh, it was like a football match out there with all the different flags and so forth at Wimbledon. It, um, it, was, it was one of the more special stories I think we've seen. You can see the emotion right there. I think that was what was so endearing about Goran is you always knew what he was feeling. He wasn't afraid to act like himself out on the court. And especially in an era where everyone was so buttoned up, you had Goran who you always got a sense of what he was dealing with. I mean, he himself always talks about there's a couple Gorons and I hope on the big point, the good Goran comes out, but I have a lot of them in my head. And you know, he's just so honest about that because all the players out there, you face your demons and you, you choke at times, you want to get angry at times, and he just let it all happen. And you knew he was fighting himself, but he did such a great job, especially at that Wimbledon where he was able to win, about being fighting off the bad Gorons and letting the good one shine through. <laughs> fighting off the bad Gorons. Uh, 10,131 <laughs> career aces. That ranks fourth all time. And both of these players have now transitioned to coaching Grand Slam champions. Uh, Lindsay, what has Conchita brought to Garbina Muguruza? Uh, you could see it immediately. I mean, even when Conchita just filled in uh, a couple of Wimbledons ago, she was able to get Muguruza to a better place mentally. And you saw Muguruza shine at Wimbledon to be able to win there. And now as a full-time coach, immediately makes an impact in Australia. I mean, Muguruza was down and out. She wasn't even seated going into this year's Australian Open, had such a bad year last year, out of the top 30 going into the year. And it's just that subtle difference she makes. She gives her confidence. She gets her to believe in herself. She's also getting Muguruza out on the court to think for herself. And she's trying to come up with game plans beforehand and just really give her the support. And you can see what a huge difference she makes in Muguruza's life and career. And for Goran Ivanisevic now, Prakash, he coached Marin Cilic, who's a Grand Slam champion, fellow Croatian, now with Serbian Novak Djokovic, the number one player in the world. What does he bring to his team? Well, I think Goran played in a different era. You know, it was a little bit more aggressive back then, a little bit more um, sniper hitting, if you will, a lot of serve and volley, big serving. So I think he can bring a little bit of that to today's game, which the points are a little bit more elongated. He got Marin to be very aggressive when he was with him, really used that big height and big serve of his. And, uh, and with Novak, he's so good on defense. I think adding those little elements of aggression when he can, shorten the points when he can, just is going to extend Novak's career even longer. And just a note to Goran out there, uh, I hope this gets to you. We're all uh, pulling for a quick recovery for you uh, from COVID. Absolutely. This would have been the day that Conchita Martinez and Goran Ivanisevic would have been in Newport, Rhode Island, put those jackets on, and been enshrined in the International Tennis Hall of Fame. We will talk to the president of the Hall of Fame, Stan Smith, and he'll talk about Conchita and Goran next.